Also from the Joe My God blog, evangelicals push Trump to rescind LGBTQ protections. Southern Baptist Convention public policy leaders ask the incoming administration to prioritize restricting abortion and reversing anti-discrimination protections for LGBTQ plus people. Shock of shocks, yeah. Cecil. Well, you knew it was going to happen. Of course they were. Yeah. You knew it was going to happen. And this feeds, I, here's, the, here's the thing that Trump does the best is tear shit up that someone else did because he doesn't want anybody else to have any credit. Right. He wants to break, kick down every sandcastle anyone else has ever built ever. He is a sandcastle kicker. He walks <laughs> around no matter where he's at and he kicks the <laughs> sandcastles <laughs> down <laughs> that somebody spent all their time on. He will kick them down. He loves to do that. That is one thing he revels in. And one thing I think that he's good at is just to try to break whatever somebody else did because he doesn't want anybody else to get credit. And this is a perfect opportunity for them to go back on some of these decisions that were passed from a more progressive Supreme Court and from a more progressive time back when Obama was president and to say, you know what, we're going to put in all these, uh, you know, you got a guy in there right now uh, who the, who might be the, de the defense secretary who's talking about how he doesn't even want women in combat situations. Yes. Well, how is he going to treat trans people? How is he going to treat, uh, you know, LGBT people? Oh, I know. Those yeah. Badly. Oh, of course you do. Yeah. Badly. Yeah. 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 Badly. Yeah. And that's the key. And that's yeah. the key is the, anything that Trump can tear down, he's going to tear down. He's putting people in place that will also amplify that signal. So if you voted for him because you wanted something else, understand that you voted to take your rights away if you were part of one of these groups. This story comes from uh, Aaron in the morning.com. Republicans file 32 anti trans bills on first day in Texas. Texas wasted no time escalating its attacks on transgender people as the state GOP pre-filed 32 anti-trans bills on the first day of the 2025 legislative session's pre-filing period. In recent years, Texas has become a hotbed for anti-trans legislation, with each session delivering harsher crackdowns. Last session alone, the state passed six anti-trans laws, including a criminal ban on drag, currently enjoined in court, sports bans, a youth health care ban, and DEI restrictions. Following a national ad campaign, we saw hundreds of millions poured into dehumanizing transgender people. Republican-controlled states are now under scrutiny over their future plans for transgender residents. And we saw, too, uh, the first, before Congress even enters session, or Senate even enters session, they're uh, trying to pass a transgender bathroom bill at the on the Capitol Hill because yeah. there's a trans senator now and they and they want to pass something or a trans Congress person. I'm not sure. I don't know which one. I don't remember. But in any case, they're trying to pass a bill now so that that person can't use the washroom somewhere else. Yeah. And it's and the thing is, is like this is that party, man. This is that party. They want to go after the trans community and they've proven it time and time and time yep. again by trying to demonize the trans community and they've done it every chance they've they've had an opportunity to go after them they've done it and so like this is going to be i really feel like this is going to be a very difficult time for trans yeah. people in this country because there's going to be one attack after another after another after another from all these legal institutions and it's going to be state and federal yeah you know and the the result two of this, the social result of this, there's the, there's the legal results and we'll see what they get done. Right. And, and they'll get some of this passed for sure. And then, you know, there's unfortunately the social result. And the social result is that, you know, it, it was going to create an environment where it emboldens people to feel more bigoted. It yeah. emboldens people to, yep. um, take out their anger and their hatred and their confusion and their rage and their frustration on, people that they see as different, people they don't understand, people for whatever reason that they they can't stand the sight of. We've seen enormous rises in the emboldening and the attacks on women, the attacks on trans people, the attacks on people of color. These things, I mean, look at, look at the people, that, the Asian Americans that were attacked as a result of the Kung flu bullshit that Trump was spouting. It is just going to be categorically physically less safe.